Hi there, in this FMA tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an arpeggiated sound useful for progressive or trance genres. Here's the sound we're going to be making today. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new sound in FM8 and go to the Ops page and start programming the operators. So we're going to route all the operators we're going to be using through the filter, which is operator Z. So we can route operator F to operator Z here, turn the, op the, the route amount up to 100, and then start programming operator F. We're going to have it as a sine wave. It's going to be key synced. And we're going to take the ratio down to 0 0.9995. And for the next operator, operator E, turn that on and route that to operator Z. And I'm going to keep this as a sine wave as well. I'm going to key sync it. I'm going to take it up to 1.5 on the ratio and then just pull this down slightly to 1.4993. For operator D, turn that on again, route that to Z. This is going to be a sawtooth wave. It's going to be key synced and the ratio is going to be 2.0014 and for operator C this is going to be a sawtooth as well so we need to route this to Z and we've routed all of these at 100 here and the ratio is going to be 3 but a little bit less so I'm going to go 2.9982 and this is going to be a sawtooth and it's going to be key synced and what I'm going to do here is for operator B, I'm going to turn this on. I'm not going to route this to the filter. I'm actually just going to use this to modulate operator E and turn that modulation amount up by about to about 54. And this is going to be key synced again. It's going to be a sine wave, and the ratio is going to be 2.0039. So just offsetting these ratios a little bit. And then I'm going to root or feed back B into itself by about 12 and E by about 29 or 30 and about there. And then I'm going to root Z or the filter back into operator F about 36 and C is going to go feed into operator F about 28. It just helps to give the sound a, a little bit of a metallic tone. So we can set the master page next, give the sound three voices, turn the detune up to about halfway and the pan a little bit further. And the level's a little bit hot there, so you could maybe go back to the operators and turn this master output volume from the filter to the output, maybe take it down to about 74, 75. Okay. And we can also just pull the analog slider up as well. And next thing we could set up here is the envelopes. And we want pretty much the same for all the main operators. We want the same envelope really. So what I can do is link all of these envelopes together. And then I'm going to set them so it's simple kind of ADSR envelope really just pull the sustain level down a bit and pull the release out so it has a nice tail on it no clips and next thing we could do really is set the arpeggiator so it's going to key sync the arpeggiator so it restarts every time we hit a new key tempo synced keep it on wrap it's going to be 1 over 16 and they're going to take the note length up to 100 and it's just going to give it a little bit of a shuffle and of course we need to turn it on and I think we might be better to set the filter next just to hear the when we set the arpeggiator we hear it take shape a little bit more if we have the filter set already so go over to operator Z and take the cut off right down here 
so it's really sort of dubbed out and pull the resonance down to about a quarter of the way and everything else stays the same oh no actually we'll pull the resonance right down and the spread right down so and then we turn this envelope amount up and we just have this kind of envelope shape here it's just going to be something like that just really dubbed out sort of sound you can play with that to taste see how how plucky you might get it. get really plucky if you pull that sort of sustain right in so I'm going to keep it something like that so it's going to be quite dubbed out and then obviously as I pull the cut off out the, the, the sound opens out so go back to the arpeggiator now and start setting this I'm going to have the arpeggiator running over 16 steps and um, gonna all of these 16 steps are going to be on so the note's going to be on I'm going to leave the tie and the accent blank and the note order and and is going to stay the same and then this transpose this is where we're going to start properly arpeggiating so second step we're going to take up five the fourth up eight and the seventh is going to go up eight and the eleventh is going to go up eight and the thirteenth is going to go up eight again and the fifteenth is going to go up five and then the 16th step is going to go up one octave. So we have this nice sort of melodic rhythm there going for our arpeggiator. So the next thing we can do is set up the effects section. So the first effect is maybe a shelving EQ, just to give a bit of top end. Again, be careful with setting this too high, because when we open that filter out, obviously we're going to get a lot more top end in the sound. Just boost it by a, a small amount there should do. Maybe take the volume down at this effect as well, so we're not going to boost the output too high. And the next thing we're going to set is a phaser, which is going to give quite an interesting sort of kind of modulated effect to the sound. Take the rate down to about 37, sync it, keep the notches on to the color as it is, and the sweep min and max on there. The rotate stays at zero, and just pull the dry wet right down to about 10 or 11. I mean, you can move it up if you want that sort of heavily phase sound, but I have a quite a subtle kind of phase effect on this sound, really. Next up is a reverb. And take the time quite high here. So you have a long sort of reverb tail, and then just pull the dry wet slider right down. So, so you get quite a quiet sort of subtle reverb. It's got quite a long tail to it. And we can just increase the treble here with the reverb sound. And the last thing I do is quite a crazy effect here that you don't necessarily have to have in this sound, but this sight delay, I'm going to take the time down to about 15. I'm going to sync it, take the feedback down to similar, about a quarter of the way up, about 15, 16, and um, have it white stereo up to 100 and pull the dry wet down. And then this pitch, I'm going to take this up by plus 12. So, which you know is might interfere with the sound a little bit. In your opinion, if that's the case, then just just turn this effect off. But I quite liked it. Kind of gave the the, the the arpeggiator another level with the sound, really, with this pitched up delay effect. So, um. There's pretty much everything set up with the sound there. The only other thing to maybe consider is the key scaling. It's just pulling the, if we start going really high up the keyboard, uh, C4, C5, C6, we don't want the filter to automatically open out too much. So just pull this key scaling down a little bit so it doesn't get too raspy. And there we have our sound. We can push this resonance up for... Bit more of a kind of acidy sort of vibe. And of course, play with the filter envelope to And there you 
you have it. A kind of uh, arpeggiated sort of sound in FM8 that hopefully you're going to find useful for progressive house or trance sort of genres. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, then let us know. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.